Okay, uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, comparison between the old version of the Retron 5 and the new revision of the Retron 5, mostly with the cart ports, because according to Hyperkin, they revised the cart ports so that they wouldn't have that death grip issue that uh, the originals had. This is the original. This is the revised version. This one actually has a fried motherboard, and that's why I have this one, because I wanted one that worked. And I fried the motherboard with a bit with an incorrect uh, power adapter. Uh, but now I have both of these, so I can compare the card ports. Obviously, I can't compare the software or anything. And I have a Sega Genesis Model 2 here for comparison with the card ports on the Sega Genesis side of things. So that's really the only system... I have, outside of I have a, a, a um, front-loading NES, but I don't, I really can't compare that. Unless I had a top loader, I can't really compare that properly. Um, so, yeah, I have no real SNES, though. Uh, what was I, oh, might as well get the Sega Genesis part out of the way. I think it's worth noting at release right now, I have cleaned the living crap out of this cart. This cart was read perfectly fine by this Retron 5 but this one it comes up as unknown cartridge no matter what I do I have cleaned it again um, it'll play the gameplay is fine and I could use save states it just wouldn't be able to use cheats and uh, I think if there were any patches which I don't know of any wouldn't be able to use patches but Outside of that, the game plays, safe states work. And that's all that I really want from this game, but I like to know that it can read the game and display the name of the game that I pop in. So, however, it's funny because this one actually reads a lot better than this one when it comes to the other games. So it never really gives me a problem with anything else. Um, so we're going to put this in both consoles. It also is worth noting, when I had this one and it was working... I actually put WD-40 on the pins of the cart and ran it through the Sega Genesis slot um, to loosen it up because it had the worst of the death grip issue. And it's still not exactly perfect. So you see, put it in, and it applied a little, it had to apply a little extra pressure, and there's this crunching noise you'll hear. I don't know if you get it on camera, but there's like you'll hear it on other videos where it's like... It sounds like somebody's eating cornflakes or something. Whereas in here, it's in. No crunching noises. Perfectly fine. Okay? Again in here. Yeah. So, they said they used better uh, pins for this, so... They look the same to me when I look at them, but they obviously function differently. And now, for comparison, I will put it in a Model 2 Sega Genesis. And there's a little extra... It's actually harder to put it in the Model 2 Sega Genesis than it is to put it in the Retron 5. Taking it out, it's about the same. In fact, it's really easy. Let me just... Actually, I'm, I'm, put, I'm, applying, so much, I'm applying more pressure than needed. Because I'm expecting it to uh, to uh, require it, but it just that's it. So that's Sega Genesis. I'm gonna move this stuff this out of the way because I no longer need this. That was the only comparison I wanted that before. Maybe I can get in this in the, the picture a little better and uh, adjust here a little bit. Okay, so now let me just move these. Okay, now we're gonna look at uh, Super Nintendo. Nintendo in here. You get that when I put it in, and it takes a little pressure to pop in. But this is one of the best ports on here. But still, it has that crunching noise that you know it just doesn't seem like it could be good. There's here. It's actually in. That was all. In fact, I could probably push it in with my pinky. It's so light. There. Goes in. So, 
I'm going to try to do that with, you, with this. I was able to do it, but it took, definitely took more effort. Actually, my, my finger got stiff. <laughs> my finger, my uh, pinky got a little stiff from that. Not too bad. <laughs> um, so now here is Nintendo. I don't have any Famicom, so sorry. I, I have really no reason to get a Famicom game. So, it's not terrible. I don't know what to put it in the Famicom slot. That was easy. But now, wait, gave me a little effort. Made a little uh, fight on the way out. Yeah, it seems to give me more of a fight on the way out than this one. It goes in, it's funny, it goes in easier on this, and it's harder to take out. But on this, it's harder to put in and easier to take out. Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> and it's not terrible, I just didn't expect it. Uh, let me see, are we in? Yeah, we're in the camera there. And this is, this never really was a problem. I think this is basically the same. Weird, uh, yeah, both of them have that. There's this weird kind of squeaky noise when it goes in. Um, yeah, but that's that, really. Uh, both of these, well, well I was going to talk about the software. This one's fried, but it was, no, it wasn't updated to the latest update. I was actually trying to update to the latest update when I plugged it in and it and fried it. <laughs> that one is, uh, I don't know what to say about them. The controllers, um, also this was bought used. So this one's new, this one was bought used. The only thing I noticed that was a little different with the controllers, you hear that? And this doesn't do that. For all I know, that could have been something that the person who owned it previously did to it. <laughs> I don't know, but, you know, as far as anything else goes, it's all exactly the same, so, you know. And now I have two crappy wireless controllers to, to uh, put somewhere, I don't know where. Um, they, by the way, oh, something that people seem to mistake all the time, you do not need these wireless controllers to access the menus and shit. You can do it with hotkeys with the original controllers. You can use the Sega Genesis. They even have a part where you can actually map specific hotkeys to the controller. So you can take this, literally, this controller and you can throw it in the garbage. You can piss on it, you can shit on it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> throw the fucking thing in the garbage. It does. You do not need this thing. Um, I keep it around just in case. For any reason, it would be convenient to use. Sometimes I use it just to update because I can just grab it and, and quickly and update the console because I have a huge wire, like an extension cable that I tend to wrap around my Sega Genesis controller and it would be a pain in the ass to unravel that just to update the console. So sometimes I just use these to update or something like that. So other than that, there's definitely, at least for this console, it seems to, they seem to have improved the uh, cart ports on this. Um, yeah, oh, and there's, of course, the built-in, um, the extra memory that's actually in this one. This one has one gig. I think this is three or four. I don't remember, but it's, it's three more gigs. I don't really need that much with a retro console <laughs> or little save files and shit like that. Really don't see the need for it, but, uh, you know, it's not like it's a, you know, you know, it's terrible or something and it's a bad thing to have extra memory. <laughs> so, that's that. Thank you for watching.